guys, it's Stephanie, and today I'm here with a new thrift haul. Um, yesterday we had some time to kill, so we just went to Goodwill, and it was dollar day, but let's be real, when was the last time I bought anything at Goodwill on dollar day for a dollar? It's probably been over a year. So that being said, um, I didn't find anything for a dollar, and I also didn't have my April coupon. I usually keep them in my car, but I had March coupons in there, so I had to pay full price for everything. But it was still a good deal, and I left with some things I'm really excited about, so I'm going to share them with you guys right now. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw a picture of a few of the items I picked up, and... The one that most people were most excited about and the one I'm most excited about is this vintage Christian Dior uh, tee top t-shirt. Um, and this was $3.99 and it's Christian Dior Boutique Paris uh, made in France. I don't know like what season this is. It looks like so 90s, early 2000 when people would wear these with like hip hugger, like true religion jeans. That's what it reminds me of, and I know it's so out there, like, it's definitely not something I would usually wear. Like, I wear a lot of, like, screen tees, but nothing with, like, fake rhinestones and just bedazzledness. So I still, I was like, I'm going to get this no matter what. I'm not sure if I want to crop it into a crop top or leave it as it is, but I just think it's so awesome. I don't know what else to say about it. So in the summer, I basically live in oversized boyfriend shorts and tees and tank tops because it gets so hot here in southern Arizona. And so I have always looked through the tops, and I usually look through the men's tops first, but I decided to look through the women's tops first, and I don't usually find anything, but I am on a roll today because I found this super cool Mercedes-Benz gray just um, cotton t-shirt, and this was, I believe, $2.99. And I don't know, I saw something on Nasty Gal and it was like the Mercedes-Benz logo, but it was like a sweater and they wanted, I think it was around $60 for it and I thought it was cool, but I wasn't going to pay $60 for a sweater with the Mercedes-Benz on it. So when I saw this, it kind of reminded me of it, but it was more subtle and I think I'm definitely going to crop this one because it is a bit long and tight and I don't really like long and tight shirts because it just hugs me in all the wrong places. So this was $2.99 and I think it's pretty cool. So once I was done with the women's tops, I headed over to the men's tops and many of you guys have been with us for a long time and you remember when we first started making videos, I would find cool men's t-shirts every time I went to the thrift store and it's very rare that I find really cool band t-shirts or printed t-shirts because many people go thrifting, it's very mainstream now and so I only go thrifting maybe twice a month just because I have an extremely busy schedule and so when I do go I kind of just have all of everybody's leftovers but surprisingly yesterday there was a ton of cool men's tops and I had to control myself and put some back so I picked up one and I don't have this band shirt yet um, and it's just the ACDC back in black and it was in the small section but it's actually a medium and so I'm definitely going to cut it into a tank top. So the last clothing item I picked up at Goodwill, this skirt has been there for a really long time. I remember seeing it two Saturday sales ago, which was a month ago, and they still had it there. So obviously it was a sign that I needed to buy it. So it's just this sheer skirt, black. It's not really a maxi skirt because it doesn't go all the way to my ankle. It's more like a midi, like a mid calf length um, but what I like about it is that it's sheer and it reminds me of like those sheer chiffon maxi dresses that they have those like little boy shorts built into and so I was thinking about doing that with this skirt I have like some spandex shorts that I wear to the gym and stuff like that that I could wear underneath this so it will still be appropriate to go out in and this was only $4.99 I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it the length that it is or hem it and make it actually a short kind of like more circle skirt not sure yet, maybe I'll wear it once long and see if I like it or not. But for $4.99, and since it had been there for a while, couldn't leave it behind, right? So the last thing we usually do uh, at thrift stores is go through the CDs and the records, uh, looking for things to draw inspiration from and remix and stuff like that. And we usually look for, you know, those rare white label vinyls like Skrillex. 
not even funny, you guys probably don't even get that. But we do look for, you know, older, you know, 70s house, disco, dance music, and stuff like that. And we don't usually find it, we find like the Lizzie McGuire movie soundtrack, which isn't really, it isn't a bad CD, I have to, have to say. Um, but, so, yesterday we ended up finding Journey! And my mom was a huge Journey fan, I grew up listening to Journey as a kid, and I am a huge fan of Journey, uh, and so I we were like, oh my god, this is awesome. So we opened it up to see, you know, it's in good condition or whatnot, and it ends up being Disco Rocket, not Journey at all. Um, so I was kind of bummed out, but you know, who knows, maybe this is a great record so I'm gonna have to play it and see how it sounds if there's anything cool I can do with it but this was only 99 cents and I love looking through the old records and vinyls I think like the artwork on them is just so interesting like why would you do that or why would you put that huge oversized face on like this huge you know sleeve but it's so old school so reminiscent of like happy times and stuff like that, I guess. But yeah, this was only 99 cents. I still picked it up just so that I could have the sleeve and play the vinyl inside. We'll see how it sounds. So before I leave you guys, I just wanted to do a quick shout out to our good friend Sammy D from Sammy Davis Vintage. And if you've been with us for a while, you know that we've collaborated with her on videos in the past. And she recently just launched her new ebook and it's the 100 best vintage stores online. And she's put so much time and effort and energy into creating this ebook, and it really shows. There's so much information that will help you find vintage pieces online. So I'm going to leave the link to the ebook and all of her social media sites in the description box below. So make sure you check that out. She is definitely a vintage queen. She knows what she's doing, and she's always been so supportive of everything we do so I just want to you know give back a little bit and I'm so so proud of you Sammy so um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time bye